Today we need to talk about some stuff that Nintendo themselves are talking about when it comes to the next generation Switch. That's right. Nintendo has opened their mouths a little bit on the Nintendo's next generation platform. And the main reason I want to cover this is to get rid of a lot of the misinformation being reported out there. In fact, I'm getting a little bit tired of some of the misreporting happening with Nintendo Switch 2. So we probably might even, ha huh, not even probably, we will have a second video later today where I'm doing something a little different. Instead of it being more of a report, it's more of a correction on misinformation about prior reports on Nintendo Switch 2 because it's extremely frustrating. And around here at Nintendo Prime, I want to make sure we're keeping things straight and that you guys, when you're out there on the internet, aren't being confused. And that begins, obviously, with what Nintendo recently said about the Nintendo Switch 2 because they did talk about it. And no, if you're looking for this to be an official announcement, a confirmation of when they're going to announce it, or anything like that, well, no, that's, that's not what this is. Nintendo will do that on their own time. But this does does come from an interview. It is something that's highly relevant and from a high up person at Nintendo. And I can't wait to really dive into this. But before we do, I just want to remind you, we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you're enjoying this content. And you know what? Why not hit that bell icon to be notified of all future uploads, whether it's Switch 2 related. We just did a Mario Wonder launch stream last night. We had a really amazing podcast back on Thursday as well. We usually do that every Wednesday. Lots of content coming your way every single week. But let's dive into this because what happened is Doug Bowser, president of Nintendo of America, did an interview with a publication known as Inverse. This interview was mostly focused on things surrounding, obviously, Super Mario Wonder because, hey, that game just came out. But they dove into some other topics, including Nintendo's next generation system. And Doug Bowser had this to say when asked about the rumors surrounding the next generation system, specifically coming out of Gamescom. Well, first, I can't comment or I won't comment, I should say, on the rumors that are out there. But one thing we've done with the Switch to help with that communication and transition is the formation of the Nintendo account. In the past, every device we transitioned to had a whole new account system. Creating the Nintendo account will allow us to communicate with our players if and when we make a transition to a new platform to help ease the process or transition. Our goal is to minimize the dip you typically see in the last year of one cycle and the beginning of another. I can't speak to the possible features of a new platform, but the Nintendo account is a strong basis for having that communication as we make the transition. Now look, pretty simple stuff here, right? Doug Bowser just reiterating stuff that Furukawa told us back in 2021. Yeah, the Nintendo account is being carried forward to the next system. Nothing new. If you want to try to read more into this, you can maybe argue the Nintendo account happens to include the Nintendo Switch Online service, and that would probably be carried forward because it's a paid subscription service, right? They're not going to just leave paid subscribers behind. So if you want to go from that and infer, well, we might get the NES, the SNES, the Genesis, and all that stuff day one over on Switch 2, that I can maybe understand a little bit of correlation. What I don't get, however, and again, this isn't me saying that Nintendo Switch 2 won't have this feature, but it's interesting to think about that this is being, just like it was back in 2021, misconstrued in various tweets and headlines as Nintendo Switch 2 will have backwards compatibility confirmed by Doug Bowser, confirmed by Nintendo. It's just happening. He just spoke on backwards compatibility. But that's not actually. He technically didn't even speak on Nintendo Switch Online. That is an assumption, an inference we're making based on the fact that Nintendo accounts at NSO are really closely linked together. But technically, a Nintendo account is not an online subscription. So there still isn't a promise that NSO is even going to move forward onto the next platform. We just assume that it will because it's a paid subscription service, giving Nintendo a financial incentive to carry it forward. But that doesn't mean they will. The only thing they've ever promised is going forward from Switch to the next platform 
are Nintendo accounts. And that's because for the first time in Nintendo's history, they're not rebooting the account system. They created a universal account system. It works on their mobile phone devices, their mobile phone apps. That's why they have over 200 million users, not just the 100 and whatever million Switch has sold. They have more users thanks to phones, and they're going to use those Nintendo accounts to communicate and help transition. So you're going to get emails. You're going to get notifications. Maybe when you pop up and you're playing Mario Kart Tour, they could pop up a notification in Mario Kart Tour through your Nintendo account to let you know that there's a brand new Nintendo platform out there. They can use it as a way to market. They can obviously have it pop up on your Nintendo Switch screen. You can get a notification on there. You can get a news update on there. There's a lot of ways that Nintendo can use the Nintendo account to advertise an upcoming platform, and Nintendo views that as essential to help ease the transition because you're reaching directly out to your current consumer base and not just relying on them seeing trailers and word of mouth online. As in, imagine that they could advertise the Wii U to all 100 million Wii users and all 150 million DS users. Chances are that might have, might have, I don't know if it would have fixed everything, but it might have helped them with a transition to Wii U, as everyone would now know that this is a next generation system from Nintendo. But again, they didn't have that back then. They do have this now. Also, I think they'll probably do a much better job with the branding and everything as well, and obviously have a much better killer but just a killer lineup remember 2017 with nintendo switch i suspect we're gonna have a similar killer lineup in the first 12 months of this new platform as well but yeah just to clear up that confusion nintendo isn't promising backwards compatibility here in fact doug bowser goes out of his way and says i can't speak to the possible features of a new platform he's literally saying i'm not here to tell you that there's backwards compatibility i'm not here to tell you there's ray tracing i'm not here to tell you about super sampling and the whole up you know, up resing stuff. I'm not here to tell you about the architecture. I'm not here to tell you about the screens or the controllers or will it have a dock and will it do this and will it do that and will it file your taxes for you? He's not here to tell you what the features of the Switch 2 are and backwards compatibility would be a feature. He's just simply saying Nintendo accounts are going to be forward compatible and he's also saying that as a business, they're trying to ease the transition. That's Really what the conversation out of this should be is that Nintendo is acutely aware of issues they've had transitioning in the past, and they're trying a new strategy this time to maintain momentum in the final year of the old platform as they transition into the new platform. And we're already seeing that. Look at the number of games already announced for next year. Now, maybe there's not a bunch of brand new games, you know, really Princess Peach Showtime's like the only new new one, but they're still announcing ports that have people excited, like Thousand Year Door, right? They're announcing excited things to hopefully carry to the next system. They're trying to learn from past mistakes. So reach out to their consumer base directly thanks to Nintendo account and also continue to maintain momentum of Switch heading into the next platform. That's exactly what Doug Bowser is saying they're doing. That is it. That's all we should really be taking away from this. But unfortunately, misinformation is just, it's as common as, I don't know, the paint on your walls. Everyone like wants to construe or misconstrue things into what they want them to be rather than what is actually being said. He literally says he's not going to be talking about features on the system. And he's saying he won't talk about specific things with Nintendo Switch. You know, he, he, he's trying to say it's not that Nintendo is whole, you know, when he says I can't, or I should say I won't. What he's, he was trying to correct himself, being like, oh, Nintendo you know, isn't like clamping down and telling him not to. He's just saying he won't do it. We all know. He works at Nintendo. If one of his primary jobs is PR. Yeah, he's not going to tell us about Nintendo Switch 2 right now. But, guys, we should just be taking this stuff at face value. So, yes, Nintendo accounts, uh, they're going to announce through Nintendo accounts, and they're trying to ease the transition. Now, the only neat thing, if you want to read more into this beyond that and maybe some NSO stuff, would be saying that, hey, the fact that he's even talking about the transition indicates that they're entering the transitionary phase, right? Like, we can, we could probably safely assume that. They weren't saying this two years ago, four years ago. Like, they mentioned the Nintendo account back in 2021 being forward compatible, but they weren't mentioning a smooth transition and blah, blah, blah. That stuff wasn't being talked about. So what you can take away from this is, yeah, Nintendo is clearly in the transitionary phase, but they're not obviously announcing this thing yet. Once it's announced... 
there'll probably be a lot more conversations happening. And as we get into 2024, by summer, I'm sure it's going to already be announced. And yeah, then the Doug Bowser's interviews then are going to be much different. He can go into specific features and uh, even talk specs, I guess, if people get really particular about it, if they want to. Nintendo doesn't usually like to talk specs, but maybe that'll change this time around because NVIDIA might be really happy with what they made here. And maybe specs will help be a selling point for certain consumers. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Stay tuned as we have another video dropping later today correcting more misinformation that's floating out there about Nintendo Switch 2 just because it's it's always incredibly frustrating for me, and, and this happened with Tears of the Kingdom as well, misinformation that went around that game heading in the launch, and now misinformation with Switch 2 you know, headed in. You might go, how could there be misinformation on a platform that's not announced? Well, because we do know a few things about this platform, uh, not just from a fact-based perspective, thanks to leaks, just the way the conversation is slanting around the system doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense, so we got to correct the record. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.